In today's video, I'll be going over 10 of my favorite ChatGPT plugins, so let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't heard already, ChatGPT has introduced plugins. So if you head over to GPT-4 and plugins, you'll be able to see a list of plugins which you can use to help you construct and write better content using ChatGPT. So here are some of my favorite plugins. It's still a little bit buggy because it is fairly new and you're still rolling it out. So there are some bugs when using plugins, but overall, there's some really good plugins that have really good use cases. Overall, my current favorite plugin is WebPilot. I've used this quite often and I've already done a couple of reviews of this plugin, but it allows you to browse and queue a web page PDF data. It also allows you to generate articles from one or more URLs. So essentially, you can enter a URL and you can extract information from that URL. So let's say I wanted to extract some information from this web page. I can do so by using that plugin. We just have to make sure that the plugin is um, selected because you have a limit of how many plugins you can actually use at once. So let's go ahead and select the web pilot plugin. So now that will be used within our content. And once it's enabled, we can ask ChatGPT to extract the main headings or topics or keywords from this URL. And once we enter that prompt, we'll be able to see the plugin at work. It will be able to go ahead and read all of the content from that website, extract the main headings, and we'll get a nice output from ChatGPT. So again, this is really cool because it allows you to access and use live data from the internet and web pages because ChatGPT by itself cannot access um, web pages. So currently that is one of my favorite plugins. We also have some other SEO specific plugins like the SEO app plugin, which allows you to uh, be your personal SEO assistant for content marketing. So for example, we can get SEO strategies by pasting in some of our competitor URLs. So in this example, I've pasted in a competitor URL and we can see the SEO app at work. So it is um, getting the key phrase, it's getting the context and the URL from that specific article. And then we'll be able to get an SEO strategy if we would like to follow to outrank this specific article. So we can see the key phrase, we can see the URL, and we can see the context, which is the user wants to create an SEO strategy to outrank article about the best gaming headphones. And we can see the response right here. And below that, we can see the response from ChatGPT. So it's um, giving us a article from this specific website. It's not really giving us um, SEO strategies that we need to consider, but it's given us a rewritten version of the article optimized for the keyword best gaming headphone. So, so it looks as though you are able to write articles from this URL using this plugin. So it's very similar to WebPilot. I'm not entirely sure what really differentiates them, but essentially, as you can see, you are able to get some SEO content using this plugin. The next plugin that I really like is called Vox Script. So Vox Script allows you to summarize YouTube videos with URLs. It also allows you to extract transcripts from YouTube videos and turn those transcripts into an engaging blog post. So this is very useful, again, because ChatGPT or GPT-4 is not able to understand URLs. So you're not able to plug in a YouTube video and be able to get um, content from that. So this solves that issue by allowing you to be able to either extract your transcripts or you can get a summary for videos or you can turn those transcripts into an engaging blog post. So very useful tool here. And for this example, we've asked it to summarize this YouTube video, which is my latest video, which I just released. And as you can see here, we're actually getting a pretty good summary. It talks about keyword selection, competitor analysis. So the presenter is using the web pilot plugin to analyze the top ranked blog posts, outline creation. So we're using the information to create um, an outline using ChatGPT, keywords extraction, article generation, and SEO optimization. So it actually does a really good job at summarizing that article. So if you, you don't want to get a quick summary, you don't want to look through a whole um, YouTube video, you can definitely use this tool. Or if you want to create a blog post from a YouTube video, you can definitely use this plugin. Another interesting plugin is called Website Performance. So this allows you to measure key metrics about your website performance, accessibility, best practices, SEO, and PWA. So let's go ahead and use this and we'll try to get an audit done for our own website, which is wordrocket.ai. Okay, so the prompt that we used was do a full SEO audit and give me recommendations to improve my website. And this is the full SEO audit that we got back for our website. We can view the complete report here. So it does take us to a separate website, which is googlechrome.github.io and we're able to get insights about um, this website. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, I guess it runs your website through um, Google's Lighthouse and you're able to get recommendations based upon Google's audit um, of your website, which is pretty good recommendations by um, any means, but you also get that um, audit or that report below 
um, from ChatGPT. So it tells you things that you need to do to improve your on-page and your off-page SEO. So for this example, we get about five um, recommendations in which we can do to improve and we get a nice summary of the metrics for that website we get the performance metrics the accessibility best practices seo and pwa so really really good um, plug in there if you wanted to do audits of your websites or of competitors websites you can definitely go ahead and use um, the website auditor plugin if you scroll down to the bottom of the audit you'll be able to get recommendations in which you can follow to improve um, those things that may be hindering the growth of your website so for instance we see remove unused css um, is one of the recommendations and if we click on that link we'll actually get a resource from google which shows us what we can do to remove unused css so pretty cool summary there and a really, really useful audit that anyone can use to improve their website. Another pretty useful SEO plugin is the SEO Core AI. So this allows you to use AI to analyze and improve the SEO of your website, get advice on websites, keywords, and competitors. Okay, so again, we've asked it to give me SEO recommendations to improve my website, www.wordrocket.ai. And here are the SEO analysis of the website that we get back from SEO Core AI. So first it talks about keyword optimization. The analysis didn't find a specific keyword focus for your website. Title tag, improving your title tags, middle descriptions, H1 tags, content. Your website has a good amount of content, but make sure it's high quality, original and relevant, load speed time, SSL, and sitemap. So uh, as you can see here, we do get some pretty decent recommendations in which we can follow. Some of it is very um, nuanced and customizable towards our use case, because you can see here it talks about our title tag. Um, which also includes our website name. So it's not just general information that you're getting back, you're actually getting back information that's um, applicable to your specific website. So I would say that this is a pretty decent uh, audit. Of course, you need to use it a couple more times in some other use cases to see how powerful it is. Another really popular and useful plugin is SpeechKey. So SpeechKey allows you to convert text to ready to use audio. So all you have to do is enter the text and tell ChatGPT to turn it into an audio file and you'll be able to do text to speech right in ChatGPT. For this prompt, we've asked ChatGPT to turn this text, good morning, how are you doing today, into audio. And as you can see here, the text has been converted into audio and we can listen to it here. Let's go ahead and click on this. Good morning, how are you doing today? Okay, pretty cool, very simple to use. And you don't have to use another text to audio um, tool. I'm not sure exactly how long or what limits you have in terms of turning your text into audio. I'm sure there's some sort of limit, but um, I have tried doing longer text and it doesn't seem to have an issue. So right now you can use it as much as you can and um, it sounds pretty good. And again, you don't have to spend money on a paid text to speech tool. Some other really popular plugins are Ask Your PDF. So this allows you to unlock the power of PDFs. You can dive into your documents, find answers and bring information to your fingertips. So essentially you just upload your PDF into ChatGPT and then you're able to ask inputs and questions based upon that PDF and you're able to get information much quicker rather than having to read through that whole PDF. Another really popular plugin is from Kayak, which allows you to search flights, stays in rental cars, or get recommendations where you can go based on your budget. So once installed, again, all you have to do is make sure that that is um, selected, and then you can ask ChatGPT to find you flights from a specific destination at a specific time. Okay, so for example, I've asked it to find me flights from Toronto to NYC on May 25th, and here are some flight options from Toronto to New York on May 25th. WestJet, Air Canada, American Airlines, and so on. And you can also see more flights in book here which takes us over to kayak.com. So again, really, really useful um, plugin. What these plugins really do, they allow you to do more things inside of ChatGPT. So instead of having to use Google or actually going on those websites, you can start and do most of the things in which you need to get done on ChatGPT. And if you need to finalize bookings or go a little bit deeper, then you have the ability to go onto those native websites. But again, really, really convenient to have these plugins included in ChatGPT. Some other popular plugins are Zapier. So Zapier allows you to connect apps with other apps. So Zapier allows you to interact with over 5,000 plus apps like Google Sheets, Gmail, HubSpot, Salesforce, and thousands more. So essentially, if there's an app that doesn't connect with um, ChatGPT, you can use Zapier to allow those apps to speak and interact with each other. Speak is another pretty cool um, plugin. It allows you to learn how to say anything in any other language with your AI-powered language tutor. 
Vox Scripts, we've already went over. WebPilot, we've already went over. Wolfram is also pretty cool because it allows you to access computation, math, curated knowledge, and real-time data through Wolfram Alpha and Wolfram languages. So essentially, um, you're able to access more live and up-to-date information using this plugin, and you're also able to do more complex questions um, using this plugin. So very, very cool. Notable allows you to create notebooks in Python, SQL, and Markdown to explore data, visualize, and share notebooks with everyone. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of really, really useful and unique ChatGPT plugins that you can use for any of your specific use cases. If you want to check out um, the whole list and library of the plugins, just head over to the plugins from GPT-4. If you don't have it enabled, you may need to go to settings, um, head over to beta features and turn on plugins and web browsing and your plugins will be available but do keep in mind that you need to have ChatGPT plus to be able to access plugins right now as they are currently rolling it out and once you have it enabled head over to the plugin store hit all and you can go through all of the various plugins that they have in ChatGPT and as you can see there's a bunch of different plugins but these were some of my favorite plugins Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.